Hey guys, it's really foggy out, so I'm gonna go take some photos. I'm a terrible diver. I didn't even know it was supposed to be foggy, but it looks pretty awesome out there. I've got the X100V with me, and I'm going out to the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge because that should be fairly cool with the fog and get a couple cool shots. I think I'm gonna try to see if I can get some black and white foggy bridge photos and I've never done that before and let's uh we're gonna give it a try we don't get a lot of fog here in Omaha Nebraska it happens very rarely so whenever it does happen I try to grab my camera and go get photos but usually I get up way too late and then the sun comes out and burns everything out and uh, I still have like 30 40 minutes or so before the sun comes up, so I think I'm gonna be able to get a couple cool things, I hope. First National Building is the biggest building in Omaha. We have like two fairly big buildings that are tiny compared to any other big city, but uh, I'll get a couple shots of this thing. The light is pretty cool. And then uh, over to the Bob Carey Redescue Bridge. Since everything is so great, I stick my uh, X100V in black and white mode. So then I'm actually seeing a black and white world to, to kind of see the contrast and tones and all that junk. Um, I'm shooting RAW plus JPEG in case I want to do any color um, as well, because when you switch your film simulation, uh, it, it applies it to the JPEG. Um, and then you want the color information in the RAW file. So it's kind of fun. It's a great way for me to keep trying to get better at black and white is to switch it to black and white and see what I'm getting before you know I'm kind of uh, as I'm taking the photo just getting practice in is important I'm not sure if I'm getting great shots but I'm looking at the different contrast and light with the background and all that junk and just kind of practicing hoping that I'm getting some good stuff So what have I learned so far? So I've learned that I look like a wreck in the morning, that birds don't stay in one place for very long. I want to get that bird in the tree, that fog is hard to, t <laughs> fog is hard to take photos of. I'm at the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge and uh, I mean, you can barely see the bridge. I look like a wreck, but that's okay. Uh, nobody's watching this because of how I look. <laughs> I'm just circling the scene a little bit and Seeing what I can find. I got a couple birds though. They are stood in one place for like five seconds. So I'm happy about that. Another thing I'm not very good at is being patient and waiting. So I just had uh, a uh, couple of people walking through the frame, which introduces more of that drama that you're looking for. And uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of times I'm just running around taking photos and not really uh, being patient and looking for stuff like that. Uh, so this is a reminder to me and maybe to you to be a little bit patient. Also look at your background and don't let poles stick out of your, out of your brain. There, there's a nice pole sticking out. 
So move that way. <laughs> Bob Carey, pedestrian bridge, I think the, I got some good photos. Some good black and whites, maybe, we'll see. But uh, since I still have some time, have about 45 minutes or so, I'm gonna run over to uh, see if I can get a couple cooler shots of some like old buildings or something that are out of that way. Just remember that your photos, watch out, train tracks. <laughs> just, just remember. Your photos don't have to be like epic every single time, right? You don't have to have Instagram worthy, tons of likes or whatever you want to do with your photos. That doesn't have to happen every time. What you have to do is find a way to learn a little bit. So I've been shooting for 20 years and I'm learning every single day I go out and take pictures, especially like fog because I don't do it very much. But I do know that I'm thinking about the edit already and what I'm going to do to these photos once I get home and how I'm gonna edit them. I'm gonna add contrast. I'm gonna put a little grain in there to add a little bit of texture to the sky. And uh, sorry, we have potholes everywhere. And uh, so even though I don't, you know, I'm not exactly sure how great these photos are gonna be, I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna do later on. Uh, and then uh, I need to stop and get this photo. That's it for the foggy photo morning. I did a, another professional photographer uh, thing, which I let my battery die, didn't bring it back up. So, <laughs> that's all right guys, I got some good photos I think, and I, I have to do some stuff today anyway. So, you know, sometimes reality makes you go home and work anyway, right? So, until next time, I hope you enjoyed.